Hey guys, uh, I know I haven't done a video update at all on my reef tank at home. Uh, partly because the filters uh, just came in on, on this tank and I'm trying out the orange filter first to see how well the colors will show through. I'm gonna clean the glass a little bit. And we have a new friend. We have a red, red tail trigger. Also, as a, I think they're a sargasm trigger. Ha, that's a funny word. Sargasm. Mm. But anyways, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. See how well I can... Okay, so we have... Yeah, it's interesting because some of the colors show through really well with the orange filter and others don't. So there's a Sunny D Zoanthid. We got a Cherry Red Blastomusa. We have a Fire and Ice, the Zoa. We have the, um, I think they're Dragon Eyes or Radioactive, the good old Xenia. And then I have, I'm gonna fix that rock. We have some neat ones here. Those are watermelon buttons, and then there's some pink forms. I don't know what they, they're called. Then we have some cool ones on here. These are Mohicans. Then I have a Duncan. Uh, I think there's a Taiwanese. And there's a John Deere Lapastria up there doing real well. There's some more buttons of us. There's another. Oh, that's real cool if I can get a zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Uh, those are more of those dragon eyes. Then we have some Ganiapora. Our pot coral. Then we have, um, I don't know what this one is. It's not a blue hornet. They're like purple on the outside, yellow on the rings, and blue on the inside. Then we got a leather coral down there. And then uh, there's one more. I'm not seeing him. He might have gotten eaten. Or not. Yeah, I think he got eaten. But I did have a uh, green star pull up in there somewhere. And then of course we have our Clarky Clown, Sailfin Tang, that gets beat up a little bit. You can see the fins by this guy, Arrow Crab, and then new Triggerfish. And then somewhere in there, hopefully still doing okay, is our uh, Six Line. Oh, I saw him. I saw him. He's, he's hiding now. Pretty cool filters. Let's try and put on the, uh, now this is the Ice Cap Aquarium Photography Multi-Lens. Right, we're gonna try a different clip on. Bear with me. So it comes with the macro and the micro lens. Uh, and then it comes in two cases and it comes with the cleaning, little cleaning film there. So, let's go ahead and put this guy on. I'm gonna set the phone down. Forgive me. Shouldn't take me but a second. Oh. We're gonna take, this lens is getting taken off. Okay, putting the yellow lens on, we're gonna see if we see a difference. Okay. All right, here's the yellow lens filter. Oh, I prefer the yellow lens, wow. You can actually kind of see. This is the yellow lens. Not quite as harsh as the orange, it filters, orange definitely filters out more, but this one, they get more color, especially on the cherry red Blastomusa. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a trade-off. Now, if I can figure out a way to use the macro and micro, if I want to, oh, there's the six line there. <clears throat> They're both good lenses. Definitely makes it filmable. Before, I couldn't even film this thing at all because the reflection in the blue light. Um, and then, I haven't shown you guys too much of the, the new tank that's cycling, but I have a 50-gallon cube. 
and I have an ice cap sump that I hard lined in and open up the side and in the back there we have a skims leopard pump leopard pump um, and then of course I have a I, I put the uh, high door ATO sensor with the um, peristaltic um, titanium hydrofill uh, pump in conjunction with that and so far so good so this this is gonna be my grow out tank and um, got a Kessel on it for now but it's not even up operational at the moment just because I'm still cycling it I'm gonna try and cycle this for a while and then I'm pretty sure I want to hardline this one too and then of course I have my 30 gallon ETO pretty cool well, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy during the quarantine, and all that fun stuff, so peace out.